your Black Waterweight Champion, once again, Derby's Dave Rocky Ryan. A massive achievement for me that was. Um, I went into that fight as an underdog, um, come out victorious, which was um, a big surprise for a lot of people as well. But um, I believe that I could do it. Um, the, uh, the training paid off, and yeah, um, so happy with the win. been intense um, it's um, it's a hard job I mean there's easier ways of earning a living out there that's for sure but um, I enjoy what I do it so yeah it's good <laughs> Horrible hard fighter, and he's been working really hard, so that's why I think he's going to win. So we use for Dave, his nickname is Rocky, but I call him Horrible because he is horrible. In a boxing ring, he's not the type of person that you want to be in the ring with. If, you can't be, if you're not fitting there with him, you're going to have serious, serious problems. Rocky was given to me um, it was after my first sparring session when I was seven by um, a guy from the gym there. Um, it was the way I was sparring and I think Rocky was big in the movies at the time and he just gave me the name and ever since it's still. I think Diego will win. I think he's too strong for Bradley. He's here. Uh, I've been doing the training with his feet. I just don't think Bradley's got anything to do with Diego. The guy I'm fighting, Bradley Saunders, has been tipped for world level sort of thing. So to win this fight would be a, a massive, massive jump up in the rankings, I would imagine. <laughs> Training routine you know, consists of uh, half seven in the mornings. I get up, um, have some breakfast, go to the gym down at the Derby College. That's why I train with Kurt Gibbons, he's my strength and conditioning coach. Um, that's probably about around an hour and a half to two hours training in the morning. Then go home, rest. Uh, rest is just as important as the training. Get the rest, get some food. And then back in the gym at four in the afternoon with my boxing trainer, Clifton Mitchell. I've trained Dave since he's been about, I'd say since he's been about 15, 16, something like that. He's brought me on massively. I mean, I've known him since I was um, boxing at Merlin when I first started, I was seven. I just always look up to him and um, when he opened the gym up, I was about, I think I was about 16 at the time. I joined straight away as one of his first first members at the club and um, I've learnt so much from him. All the knowledge that he's learnt over the years, he's passed it on to me as well. I want to be number one in Britain not rank seven or whatever it is that uh, you, you say I am. Um, I'm training hard, I, I want to be at the top of my game, so yeah. <laughs> He's not a human, man. He's like a machine. You know? He never gets sick. He always turns with him, man. You know, spar with him. He goes like all the way, all the way. You can't handle him, man. He's too hard. <laughs> Uh, in 
my opinion, Dave wins every time. Uh, I don't think um, Bradley's been in as deep as he's going to find himself in with Dave. Uh, Dave's been in deep, he's done it time and time again, he's proved how tough he is. I think it's going to be far too much for him, I really do genuinely believe that. Um, it's a lot of mental rehearsal, just think of the fight, think of how you want it to go, plan the fight in your head and just constantly mental rehearsal non-stop all the time. Um, pretty much that and just, just get a lot of rest and don't stress about anything. It will mean the world to me to win this fight again because once again I'm going in as the underdog. Even though I am the champion, I'm still going in as the underdog. He'll come through the worst of times and still be there. So no matter what you put on him, you know what I mean? He's going to come out at the other end smelling the roses. Hey, I do get nervous, yeah. Um, the first couple of pro fights I had, um, I, I didn't really get that nervous. Um, but ever since I've had kids, I think about the kids a lot more before a fight and it, it builds the nerves up that way. It's always going to be hard whether you're champion or not, fighting for the belt or defending the belt, because you know, you've got to train like you're the challenger, and that's what we're doing. We're not training like the champion, we're training like we're the challenger. I've got what it takes to win this fight. Gutted really. I mean there was 12 week, 12 weeks training camp for that and then um, a week before the fight pulls out of an injury. Um, couldn't get a replacement so it just left me with no fight. Uh, fighting a kid who I've boxed before. His name's uh, John Wayne Hibbert. He calls himself John Wayne, he thinks he's a cowboy. Um, I beat him before and I'm very confident I'm going to do it again. But I can't see him getting beating Dave on no decision regarding going to a 12 round fight because he hasn't got it, he, has, he won't have it in the bag. He won't have it in the bag. So for me, Dave's got a lot more drive. Since I boxed him last time, he, he's had probably four or five fights. He's won them all. And every interview after the fight, he's been calling me out, saying that he wants to fight me. He thinks he got robbed last time, but um, I know I beat him last time, and I'm going to beat him again this time. I think it's like I'm going to be like number one in Britain after this, so it's going to be either a British title fight or maybe even European. I've got no qualms about Dave. What?